One of the best parts about starting the new week is our chance to hang out with our friend Jolene Ketzenberger. We gather around the table and she talks everything about the dining scene. What's new? Yeah. Maybe what's yeah. closing. Right. Exactly. Good, well, to yeah, happy, good to be here. Happy to yes. help. <laughs> yeah, we're glad to have you here. Uh, well, I'd love to love to keep everybody up to date. And we do have a few closings okay. to start out with. So we'll get to those first. Yeah, so, yes. Um, so I think we a lot of people have heard that Wahlburgers has closed yeah. in Carmel. Yes. So, you know, so celebrity kind of kind of owned thing right. there. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, Brother Donnie, et cetera, et cetera. So that is closed. So, so no more Wahlburgers okay. in Carmel. Right. <laughs> you know <laughs> any recon about what might be going uh, in I'm in. sure something will be going in there. It's a great They're location. <laughs> it is a good location. Yeah. yeah. Um, in Castleton, so the MOTW Coffee and Pastries yeah. there, yeah. just that location it has closed. Okay. okay. The, just the Carmel location. They have lots of other other like two two or three other ones in the area. Yep. Right. As well as they are opening around the country. So okay. yeah, oh, so they wow. have so in New York national. and Texas, Georgia, Wisconsin franchises. Oh, are I'm opening. so proud of them. That's great. I know. Isn't that nice? So so good luck to yeah, them. Yeah, we've had them on the show. Great Except, stuff. Right, right. Really good coffee. For, delicious and pastries. Yeah. Oh yeah, pastries. Uh, so so just the Castleton location. Okay. Okay. Um, and then um, at about 118th and um, Allisonville, so Mark Pies Express. Oh. That is oh. closing at the at uh, July 27th. Okay. So it's just been there. You know, it's about 30 years in yeah, business. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So they have they have been at this a long time. So yeah. congrats on that run, yeah. Okay. Just retiring. So I moved here in the early nineties. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, right. Exactly That's amazing. That. Right. Yeah. So you know where that is. So, well, so good for uh, them. visit them um, before July twenty seventh. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, of course, some openings, so that's always very nice. Um, so, actually, this is a reopening. So, Boba Tea and Mochi Dough. Yeah, uh, they're friends of the show, too. Exactly. So, that's on Main Street in Carmel. You might remember it, it closed a, a little while ago, earlier this year. Owners were just focusing on their other business. And okay. so, now there's new ownership, and it is a reopening there on Main Street. So, yeah, you can get cool. your... your uh, Tasty little mochi donuts, aren't yeah. those cute? I those love the nice. shape of them. <laughs> yeah, and the taste is. I know, and, and like yeah. the texture, like the texture is kind of chewier. Like a yeah, firmer, chewier donut. Yeah, yeah, right, and of course boba tea. So right. that's always nice. Love that. Speaking of baked goods, so. Um, Bake Sale Indy has opened at 62nd and Allisonville in that oh, little nice. strip center yes. right there. Sure. You know where Some Guy's Pizza is, it's right next to that. I know exactly where that is, yeah. <laughs> so, so they have opened uh, with a focus on artisan bread. Oh wow, that's oh, great. That. Yeah, yeah, me too. So, nice so exactly, so get your big crunchy artisan, artisan, hearty artisan loaves hearty there. Artisan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet and it smells good in there. It, and you might know them from the farmer's markets. So okay, people cool. are probably familiar with good them from the farmer's markets. Right. I know, to see yeah, a brick and mortar. Exciting. So that's yeah. very fun. What are we seeing here, Julie? That's in Fortville. So that is the Speakeasy Bar at the Kitchen on Main. Okay. So if you know where that is, of course, right on Main Street yeah. there in Fortville. Um, so yeah, the back room has opened. Um, I'm going to be having a grand opening, I think the 12th and 13th. Okay. Fine. Um, and uh, so then the front area, of course, sandwich shop, ice cream, milkshakes, and I understand that milkshakes are top seller there. And so the back room will have boozy milkshakes. Ooh, nice. Oh, doesn't, that'll be really that's, cool. doesn't, doesn't yeah. that sound tasty? Get a get a nice adult milkshake. They might no. also have some music there as well. Yeah. So, so we've, yeah. done, we've done some speakeasy tours. <laughs> we have been to some speakeasies. We <laughs> love a good speakeasy. You can remember some of them. Um, no, just, just some of them, right? If you go to our website or the YouTube oh, page, it, you can type it in. Type there. in speakeasy tour. We went with Jolene all over town, yeah. and we had way too much fun. So fun. We had a great time. Do you need a password to get into the new one? You, you know? do not. Okay. You do not. I all popped right. in, you can just walk right back. Okay. All Sorry. right. Good to know. <laughs> I'm laughing because know, we, right? we have an inside was, joke about a password. Was, and <laughs> you can figure out the password That's though. Right. Go back and watch that story. Until it was, that was a great time. It was a great time. Can indeed. <laughs> can indeed. <laughs> we love you, Jolene. Oh. How can people follow along oh, with you? Just find me on, <laughs> online, Facebook, Instagram. You can look for culinarycrossroads.org. Sign up for our newsletter, all sorts of things. I'm I'm all, all over the place. <laughs> well, thank you for You're always keeping us yes. and our viewers in Central Indiana. Oh, informed. thank you so much. Show, Absolutely. Friends. Yeah. Thank you, Jolene. Well, still to come, we're going to tell you about a women's equity brunch event happening July 11th. It features 50 indie-based women-owned businesses. Wow, and we have one of them here. Juice with Jocelyn and We Brunch Indie are joining us next in just a couple minutes. Go refill that coffee. We'll be right back, friends.